Hey everyone, welcome back into the Fairbanks Evening News. Mike Schultz with you once again looking at weather. And boy, we had a little surprise from Mother Nature this morning. Some areas reporting some light snow. It's all gone now, but of course that was a nice little <laughs> interesting uh, surprise to wake up to. As we got a little pocket of cold air moved over us and we're looking at showers to continue off and on for the next couple of days, but no more snow in the forecast. Nice photograph tonight. This one's seen by Nancy Hummel. She and her husband were driving up the Alaska Highway and they were able to capture moose and swans together. There's the swans right there and about six moose there. Nice photograph. And as always, if you have a photograph to share, by all means, send it to photos at KTVF11.com. Your numbers look like this. A normal high 56, normal low 33. Today's high was 49 and last night's low 39. The record high 70 in 1960. Record low 11 in 1945. 17 hours and 39 minutes of daylight. A gain of seven minutes from yesterday. Our satellite radar is showing the, the, the area of moisture moving across the Fairbanks area earlier and then retreating back to the northwest. That's we're looking at uh, things to uh, get a little bit less opportunity for any more shower activity. And as far as what's going on across the rest of the state, well, we have a little bit of rain falling around Kodiak Island and Cold Bay. Otherwise, clear to partly cloudy skies over southeast Alaska. Sunshine around the Bethel area. Kind of chilly at Nome, 29 degrees there, 27 at Barrow, and 46 degrees in Fort Yukon as we are into a little bit more cooler regime. Lower 48 weather, a little more shower activity moving in from the western half of the country. That's expected to uh, not really develop into anything major and some more showers across the Great Lakes too. And the overall outlook for later on this week is calling for some scattered showers over the northwest, a little better opportunity for thunderstorms across the central and southern plains and across the Great Lakes. Well, back to Alaska for tomorrow. Cloudy and cool at Barrow snow showers in Nome and mostly cloudy skies for Fort Yukon. Here in the interior, we'll be looking at cloudy skies, a little shower activity mainly around the Healy area. Otherwise, temperatures right around 60 degrees over southeast Alaska. Mostly sunny skies for Ketchikan and just partly cloudy at Juneau. Well, out to the southwest, we're looking at uh, cloudy skies in Bethel. Rain is likely for Cold Bay. And rain is a good possibility at Kodiak Island also. Over south central regions, uh, cloudy skies, a chance of rain for Homer, Anchorage, and Valdez. Okay, a new week. And once again, time for some new kids to talk to this week. We went to uh, Tickasuk Brown Elementary School. And here's a young lady with an interesting story. One day this winter, it was super cold. Snow was everywhere. It was also super windy. Brr. Trees were dancing with the wind. One got tired of dancing and fell. Me and my sister went out in that scary storm and saw that tree lying on our fence. It broke the fence. It was especially scary because I'm in Alaska where it's super cold here. To say she's animated is an understatement. Again, thanks to Mount McKinley Bank and tomorrow night a young man will be here sharing a picture of spring. And once again, our uh, Tanah Valley Clinic folks are telling us, as we said earlier, the trees are at very high levels. Otherwise, weeds, mold, and grass are right down at low levels, so that's kind of good. And as far as our forecast, 35 for the overnight low coolers with the cloudy skies, isolated showers. Tomorrow's forecast, again, calling for continued cloudy skies, about a 40% chance of some shower activity, 60 degrees. And the extended forecast moves the showers out by Thursday. And then Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, we're looking at mainly just cloudy to partly cloudy skies. Looks good for cleanup day and all the other activities going on, and there are a lot of them happening uh, Saturday. And we're also looking at temperatures, once again, starting to rebound a little bit. As you can see, we're looking at high temperatures in the low to mid-60s by the weekend.